Hello and welcome to this um, this video tutorial. Okay, in the last one we uh, managed to s get the, um, the the comments inserted and extracted from the database and load them um, when the actual page loads. Now, just to show you, um, this is all working. Comments are working perfectly well with line breaks too. Yeah. Okay, and let's paste that in there, and we can see that it goes in, and we can refresh it, and it goes in as well. All right. So now that we're going to link up this one delete button. Okay, so just use Firebug. We can see here that the delete button um, doesn't have any form of um, like information about what it's deleting. So we need to actually link up a, a delete button on there. Okay, so let's come over to our jQuery, uh, our JavaScript um, page, not jQuery, sorry, our script page, and um, we're then gonna make another JavaScript file. Okay, and we'll say comment delete. All right, so it's nice and clear um, what it is that we've got to do. Now, as per before, on load, we're gonna say, or on the the page load, we're gonna say document ready. I'm going to say function, and so we know that the the code's going to code's going to get fired then. Now let's come to the top, and we need to basically copy this and place this in here. And we're going to say comment delete. Now potentially at the end of this, you would put this all into one file, okay? Um, just for clarity. All right. Now let's get rid of all of these things. Now what we do need to do is come here is we need to loop through all of these LIs okay um, but potentially we need to loop through all of these buttons okay so we need to loop through all of the um, delete BTN buttons but on the delete BTN we need to know what ID we're going to delete so um, on that note we need to go back to our comment underscore box and on here we're going to add the ID of, and we're going to say echo, and we're going to take the comment ID. All right, so um, we've got a reference of what it is that we're deleting. And we're just going to say echo comment ID in there, nothing more than that. So let's come to here, and what we're going to say is all classes um, with the the class or all the all elements with the class of delete underscore button which we should be correct delete sorry dash btn um, we're going to loop through and with that we're going to say each okay for each one we're going to loop through it now for the sake of this we're going to say button equals this okay this will come apparent a little bit later so as we loop through them we're going to say then btn dot click so we're going to attach a handler to every single button that's why we're looping through them dot click we're going to do something and in this scenario what we're going to say is we're going to say console dot log and uh, we're just going to say then this actually it's then uh, btn dot id okay and let's add some text the id just there okay so now let's just come back to our page check to see um, whether this is working come to the console so we get an ID 5 an ID 2 ID 1 all right so every single time we're getting the correct IDs that we want all right now just to show you on here this has the ID 3 so we're always getting the correct information that we need now if we use this in here it would then make some confusion with this so um, we know that it's it's working properly so we now with regards to our Ajax files we want to add another file alright so let's say uh, PHP file and comment deletes alright now we can come to the comment insert and we can potentially copy this beginning bit all right and come to com comment delete and just chuck all that in there delete all this rubbish that we don't need 
add then one of these there. Okay, so we know that post task, and we're going to say comment deletes, we're going to require the defines, alright? And then what else do we need? Uh, that's that's about it for, for the time being. Uh, we're going to need some other stuff shortly. So um, we're going to send this back to Ajax comment deletes.php. Okay, and then we need to then send an object back. And then we're going to close this and we're going to do exactly as we did um, before. And we're going to say success and then function and this here. Okay, so let's just pop this onto one new line and push this back. Whoops, don't want to do that. Okay, so that's now success. Okay, that's the button click. Don't get confused by this. That's the button click there, and then that's the each. All right, so let's just budge that over. That's for the each, and this is for the document ready. Okay. Now, potentially, what we want to do is we want to be able to do a function with this instead, rather than confusing matters here. So let's extract that out. Let's come down to the bottom. Let's say function and say comments deletes. And we've got an error in our, our script somewhere. So let's find this error. Okay, that one goes to there. That one's fine. That one goes to there, which is fine. And that one, by the sounds of it, didn't need. Okay, are we missing ones in here? No. That goes to the function, success. That goes to the object, which is fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we'll we'll be able to see this in a minute. So task is equal to comment underscore deletes. And then the comment ID is going to be equal to then um, the comment ID which we set in just a minute okay now let's move this over oh uh, you stupid lunatic okay so we need the the post first of all and let's just move this back let's move this down I know I keep messing around but I like to see things clearly success then he's ah, it's a nightmare this what have I done that's better. Okay, so console dot log um, success on the comment underscore deletes. Let's put the data in here as well, so we get the response that we get back. Okay, and then the information that we send back. And the comment only has one at end, by the way. So then we want to say comment deletes. Okay, so let's now check to see. Uh, everything all works perfectly fine and we'll just say echo um, I I am on the server side and heard your request okay let's refresh this let's now press one of these buttons okay comment ID yeah okay fine 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 Oops. Okay, so let's say var just one underscore comment ID equals then um, the ID. So we're going to put the ID up here actually. Comment, and that's going to sit in here because we're going to pass it in of button ID. Okay, so as we as we get it, we're going to pass it in there. So we don't need that. That goes in there, all right from here, and it's going to send back the information that we need. So let's refresh this page, come to here, click, and as you can see here, post comment ID 5. Let's clear this, come down to the second one, so we should get ID of 2. Post ID of 2, comment delete, and it says success on the comment delete side. Good. So that means that the um, the comment underscore delete side of it um, was working fine so we can get rid of this one text and now all we need to do is say um, if class exists and it's then comments 
we can continue. All right. Now we need to be able to require. Um, whoops. We need to be able to require that. So let's do require once, and then models directory, and then comments dot php. And as we know, the comments dot php that contains a um, require once to the subscribers as well. But we don't potentially need it um, that much. So let's come to our our MySQL and models file and the comments. Go down to our delete function or delete function, sorry. And now from here, um, let's just write this um, out properly. So SQL is equal to um, delete from comments where ID equals comment ID. All right, and we say query equals MySQL query, and then SQL. We we'll check to see that everything was all okay. So uh, if Query, then we're just going to return true, okay, with an E. Else we're going to turn return null. All right. Uh, that's all, all that we're going to do with that potentially, and we can just remove this bit of text here, okay. And where and it's actually comment ID in the database. Let's just check to make sure that's all all correct. So comments, um, we want structure, okay, and comment ID. Yes, it is. Okay, so, and it's just got two M's, which is good. Um, comment delete. If class exists, then we're going to say if comments, and then delete, and then we want post comment ID. Then uh, echo. I oh know true. Else echo false all right I don't think we need a lot of data coming back so let's check this now let's re whoops let's refresh this and let's do this one here delete okay so we deleted the one that said or uh, comment ID 3 okay so let's do come to here let's list them all and as you can see comment ID 3 is gone if we come to here and so one, two, three was this one here. Test insert from Thomas James Thomas. Now you can see it's gone. So the only thing we need to do now is to be able to delete it on the JavaScript side. Okay. So on successful, we can delete this one. So what we did have was a method to be able to identify um, the li. Okay. Now the li had the ID of underscore, then the ID. All right. So all we have to do is now potentially say um, underscore and we're using the ID and then plus comment ID okay and then I believe without getting it wrong is detach yeah I believe that's that's all we need to do okay so now let's check here let's delete this another comment has been inserted and I think we've got a JavaScript error there. Comment ID is not defined. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, but that that one box is going to have been deleted. Okay, let's try the test inserts. Okay, and as you can see, it's gone. We refresh it, and it's not there. And we do it, it's gone. Okay, now, that's, that's one part of it done. Okay, there's... Um, so now we can do insert please and it goes in and it inserts then we can say delete but as you can see the button doesn't work at the moment now it did work on the beginning and we can delete look watch this one we can delete that one but it didn't work on this one which we entered in I'm going to show you how to do this in the next tutorial okay right so I'll see you in the next tu in the, the next tutorial